Morning, Christ Kingdom Life Center. Apostle Brown coming to you once again. Um, as I always say, know that I love you. God bless you and God keep you. This morning I'm going to um, share with you a prayer that I'm hoping that you will join me in over the next seven days. Um, it comes from Psalm 24. But before we even get into that, um, I feel uh, compelled by God to tell you that you really need to be strategic in this time. What do I mean by that? Um, write down what it is uh, you're believing God for and the steps you believe God is uh, leading you to take in order that you might be able to fulfill those things. Uh, yes, by faith. Um, we're getting ready already uh, to go into March. January, February, March. Uh, so three months um, are, seem like they've gone by quickly, but we need to be strategic, meaning that we want to uh, be about what God wants us to be about. Uh, I'm going to say this now. Um, I call it the pain of correction. I talk about my broken arm. Um, I wanted the full use of it. Y'all heard me say this before. And so they have to reset it. And I'm, I'm saying it again. It's a time to reset. And so there are some things for which even in my own life, God is saying, lay aside. And, and watch this. They're not, they're, not, they're not sin. Lay aside uh, these things that you might be able to fully move into what I'm calling you to do in this season, in this dispensation, in this time. And I want you to hear that. There's some of you I'm actually seeing your faces right now. Um, about uh, a decade ago, I told you if God has called you to, uh, to teach, then you need to get in school. Uh, in other words, you need to do those things that are necessary, that you know, even in the natural, that, that set you up, that prepare you for what God is doing. Um, in this season, and I told you, I'm not the only one saying I heard another prophet I respect uh, greatly say this. If we're not moving into things that God has called us to do, um, we're going to find ourselves almost a decade behind. Hear that in, uh, in, in the realm of, of, of the Spirit with an eye towards doing what God wants us to do. Um, Psalm 24 is one uh, that we should be familiar with, especially um, when we had a different, uh, if you will, style of worship. I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to give you, in a sense, my, my meditation that God has given me. Um, and I want you to pray this psalm, if you will, over the next seven days. It uh, doesn't mean that you can't continue, but I believe that it, it's just stirring in my spirit. There's some revelation that God has um, been sharing with me over the years uh, that brings me back to praying this particular psalm. Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's. And its fullness, the world of those who dwell therein, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? Who has, a clean, who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity or idol, nor sworn deceitfully? He shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is uh, the generation that seek him, that seek uh, uh, his faith, O Jacob. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, your everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, lift, lift up your everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of of glory. Now I'm going to go through, um, if you will, verse by verse, uh, and I try not to get too excited on uh, with y'all because I, I just love. It's a privilege when God speaks to us. It, it's, 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 it, it, We're honored by it. We're, we're, we're honored by it, and I really believe uh, God speaks to me um, as I'm praying uh, this this psalm, this 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 word, if you will, um, and and I just want to tell God thank you for allowing me to hear his voice uh, and build my life on that on that solid foundation even in the midst of COVID-19 watch this now uh, verse uh, 1 the earth belongs to the Lord and every living thing in it watch this then we are only stewards as I'm praying uh, we, we're called to be good stewards over it and we need to be we need to be great ones watch this uh, the, the scripture tells us that he owns the cattle on a thousand hills so just because somebody has it doesn't doesn't mean that that it's theirs. It's uh, 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 it's yours. Watch this for a time period that that you might be able to steward it. That you might be a blessing unto the unto the people of God, unto the unto the nations. And so, 
And so the earth is the Lord's. And so if the unrighteous, watch this, those who do not want to live by God's standards and don't want to be a blessing to people and want to hoard and flow in scarcity, if they, if they have it, I have to remember that they have it, but for a season, because the time of exchange, watch this, y'all, here is is upon us. Yes, 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 yes. I'll go into that uh, 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 later, not in this message, but, but, but at a later date. Now watch this now. Uh, uh, the world and those who dwell there, for he has founded upon the seas and established it uh, upon the waters. He founded, God created it. He is, he, he is the ruler. Now watch this. So how can that which uh, uh, has been created all of a sudden be worshipped higher than the creator? It's God who we must know is the founder. And watch this now. If he established it, God also sustains it. Hebrews 1 and 3 says this. Uh, uh, he upholds all things through the word of his power. Jesus is his word. It's sustained. It's maintained. How? By the word of his power. And you, you've heard me say this before. It's a word-based system. And so we ought to be speaking out of our mouths. We ought to be declaring the word of God, the, the, the righteousness of God, the, the glory of God, the power of God, mm, the mercy of God, the grace of God. Uh, watch this. He upholds all things through the word of his power. Uh, uh, and, and watch this. So everything that he made, he's, he's holding, it's consisting, it's sustained uh, by him. And, and so then my life is being sustained and, and held by the Lord our God. Watch this now. He asks, who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or into the holy place? Who, who, can, who, can go, uh, who, who can go up there or, or who may stand in the holy place? Uh, he's asking a question, uh, and he says, uh, I, I want to answer it, but he, 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 he's answering uh, it for us in the Word. Watch this. It's, it's a rhetorical question. He's saying that those of us who, who know him ought to know this, right? 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 He says this now. Uh, he says, he can uh, ascend who has clean hands and a, and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto idols of vanity, nor sworn uh, the, the, deceitfully. Watch this now. Uh, it, it means then that the blood comes into in, into play. It's the blood that 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 cleanses us from all unrighteousness and and gives us the watch this the 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 power, the authority to move into the very presence of God. Watch this now. He says now uh, there, there there's there's a promise with that. He says he shall receive blessings from the Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord. Now watch this. But Deuteronomy 11 and, 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 and 26 and 27 uh, begins to say now, uh, if we follow his commands, then these blessings will be upon us. And if we don't, then there's a curse upon us. And somebody's going to say that's, that's Old Testament. Then, but then let's go then to the New Testament where Jesus tells the parable and says, how shall I liken a man who, 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 who hears these sayings of mine? If he does them, then, uh, then man or woman, he, then they are like a, a person who builds Watch this, their house or their life on a solid foundation on the rock. And when the wind and the storms come, it will be able to stand. But those who hear them and do nothing with them, yes, they're, they're like a, a person who's built their life upon the, 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 the sand. Now, he says, so if we ascend, if we, if we come into his holy place, if we come into his, into his presence, if it, it's going to say it later, if we, if we seek his, his face, watch this now, if, if, we, if we seek his face, we shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of our salvation. Watch this. There's the blood again. The only way we can stand in right relationship with God, hear me now. It's not all of this. We're, we're good. Uh, um, um, I, I'm not doing anything. I'm not that bad. It's the blood of Jesus. Watch this. That cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And we have to plead the blood every day, every, every minute, every second. We've got to thank God. For his substitutionary uh, death, thank you, Jesus, and, 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 and rising so that, watch this, we might be seen righteous and now live in a great relationship with God. Watch this, where he will speak to us, where he will commune with, where, where, where he will love on us. Watch this now. Righteousness is, 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 is imputed, is given to us when we say, yes, Lord, I, I, I believe that you did this for me, and, and I want that in my life. Watch this now. Righteousness. Right relationship with God, right relationship even with man, but watch this, and a right way to live. That's a blessing. Uh, it, it's a blessing. I, I call it the Christian worldview, how we ought to go about our lives. It's, it's a blessing, watch this, 
to have a standard to live by where you just don't go for everything. It's, it's, it's a blessing to have the standard of the Lord. Watch this now. He shall receive the blessings of the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation that seeks him. Oh, don't y'all hear Hebrews again? He's a rewarder of them that, there's that word, diligently seek him. This is the generation that seek him like Jacob saw him. Y'all uh, uh, saw after him. Y'all remember Jacob? Uh, Jacob is the one where they call Jacob's ladder. And he says, I was in the house of God and I didn't even know it. But even more importantly, uh, he's the person who wrestled with God and God changed his, his name. He says, I'm not going to let you go yeah, until you bless me. This is the generation that, uh, that, that seek him. Are you seeking him at this time? Are you seeking him at this, at this time? Are you diligently seeking him? Are you, are you after him? Well, watch this because in the presence of God, hmm, there's fullness of joy. If, you're, if your joy is vacillating, if it, if it keeps going back and forth, if the times uh, uh, and things that are going around us have you, watch this, have you depressed? Ah, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. By the presence of God, it, it, it has you uncertain and, and unsure and, and, mm, uh, uh, and not knowing. I'm here to tell you that, that, that your certainty comes. When you're in the presence of Almighty God, don't fall for the trick of the enemy that says, don't seek him. You're not getting in, in, any peace. You're not being rewarded. There, there, watch this. There's great reward in the presence of the Lord. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this now. Uh, this is the generation who seek him, who seek your, your face. And if we see him, uh, Galatians says, we'll be changed into what we're seeing. But you have to you have to seek him. And I watch this now. Watch this now. I, I studied it by uh, 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 commentary. And I want you to follow me from here because I think the prescription now uh, of, of, of seeking him, of getting into his presence comes after. I had to look at uh, a lot of different commentaries. Watch this uh, to see if what I was hearing from the Lord is, in fact, uh, if you will, uh, true. We must come back uh, to the reality of what Scripture uh, uh, has said and is saying to us. Watch this now. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up your everlasting doors. Watch this. Watch this now. Lift up your up your head. Don't you hear uh, in Revelation, behold, I stand at the door uh, 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 and knock. Uh, and if any man hears my voice and open up the door, I will come in and I will sup with him and he with with me. But watch this now. So, so, so in Scripture, we, we know that we says, I, I will lift up my eyes. Watch this, uh, brown version. And I look upon the hill because all of my help cometh from. So there's something about changing, watch this, if, if you will, the position of our prayer from, watch this, not, not just, not just uh, looking down in piety or, or we would say humility, but beginning to look up as wanting to see the Lord. Ah, thank you, God, in his, in his, in his glory. Watch this now. Uh, uh, gates are the, the place of, of, of authority. It's, it's where the prophets, where the teachers, uh, where the governor uh, officials would go, watch this, uh, and deliver their messages. Lift up your head, O ye gates. We've been teaching on uh, uh, the authority of the believer and how there's power Mm, like the word says, uh, in your, lift up your heads, O ye gates. You, you need a little more. Uh, when the uh, uh, praises go up, blessing comes. Uh -huh. uh, he inhabits the praises of his people. So if he inhabits the praises of his people, then our praise, as we're lifting up our head and open up our, uh, opening up our gates in, watch this. Mm, it's an invitation for the Lord to, y'all are getting it, y'all are, y'all are getting it. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. Uh, uh, watch this now, uh, watch this now, you, you heard it, you, you, you heard it. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Mm, watch this, and when I studied it, I found out that there was a, if you will, almost a call and response um, 
when a king or somebody of uh, royalty came in with regalia, they had a, a certain, uh, if you will, um, call and response at the door. And, and when it was done, they knew to open up the, the door because the king hmm, was there. He, he had a certain way of, of approaching the door. And, and, and I want you to know that uh, he, he's at our door. And if we would open the door, he says he'll come in. Watch what it says now. Uh, I, I will come into him. Yeah. And sup with him and him with me. Do we know Jesus is the is the door? Are you are you hearing this 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 song? And then he says, He shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? Watch this now. Watch this. Oh, okay. I'm going I'm going to calm down. A rhetorical question: Who is the King of Glory? And this is what we need: the Lord, strong and Mighty, there's a reminder to you in the in the midst of what we're going through, in the midst of your personal situation, the Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. The old saints would say, be still. God will fight your battle. God will fight your battle if you just be Still, it wasn't talking about, this is talking about still in prayer and in the, in the presence of the Lord. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. This is what happens when, when we lift up our heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors. The Lord who is mighty. The Lord who is strong. The Lord who is mighty in, in battle. Uh, that's who he is. That's who is coming to see about you. That's who's coming to see about your kids. That's who's coming to see mm, about your mental peace, your your spiritual peace, your, your physical peace. That's who's coming. Mm, that's who you're inviting in. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Lift up your everlasting doors. And the king of glory, he shall come in. Who is this king? The Lord of hosts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, can you see him, the Lord of hosts, meaning Jesus riding into the situations in our lives with the host of all the angels. Mm, thank you, God. Thank you, God. The Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. So as you're reading it, as you're reading it, I, I, I pray that these, these nuggets uh, continue to come up. The, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of thereof the world and those who dwell mm, thank you lord therein for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters who may ascend into the hills of the lord or into his holy place or who may stand in his holy place who has clean hands and a pure heart thank you for the blood lord who has lifted up who has not lifted up his soul unto idols you're my only god nor sworn deceitfully for, forgive me lord if i have bared false witness uh, anyway, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Thank you for the blood, Lord. Thank you uh, for my righteous standing with you. Thank you for my, my, my way of doing things that, that you've given me that I might be in right standing. The, this is the generation who seek him. I, I seek you, Lord. I'm among people who, when we gather, who, who seek you, Lord, who want to see your, your face. I'll be diligent in it, Lord. Uh, I, I want to see your face. I'm going to lift up my head I'm, uh, from whence uh, and look at the hill where, where all my help comes. It comes from uh, the Lord. I'm going to praise you, God. I'm going to glorify you. I'm going to magnify you. Why, Lord? Because you inhabit my praise, God. I'm, I'm like a gate. I'm like a door. I can invite you into any situation by opening my mouth, by focusing my whole being on you and, and praising you and, and glorifying you. There's there's none like you. Oh, lift up your head over your gates and be you lifted up your everlasting uh, uh, doors. And the king of glory, he shall come in. He's mighty in uh, battle. He's strong and mighty. He is the king, hmm, the king of hosts. Uh, there are angels riding into your life. To do the bidding of the Lord. We, we give them permission when we praise God. When we worship God. When we acknowledge God. Oh bless his name. Oh bless his name. Oh bless his name. Y'all pray this with me. Meditate on it over the next seven days. 
I'll be with you again Tuesday. I just thank God for his word. I thank God for his word. I thank God for his word. It's something that we can reference every minute. I bless you. To those who have continued to uh, uh, give by way of give a fine or however you've been uh, given or whatever God has placed on your heart, uh, I, I pronounce that God, because the word says it, is blessing you. God is keeping you. He's rebuking the devourer. He's giving witty ideas and strategies. He's transferring wealth into your hands. Listen to me very carefully. That, that's resources, but wealth is knowledge and attitude. Mm. It's knowing in Jesus' name. Why? Watch this now. That we might establish his kingdom. Bless his name. I love y'all. God bless you. Again, uh, share these messages. I believe there'll be a blessing uh, to someone. And join me over these next seven days uh, and meditate and pray. Psalm 24. God bless you. God keep you. That is our prayer. Welcome into March. Write the things down. Make it plain. Amen. Thank you.